Cima de las Palomas, Spain, 2011. Archaeologists unearth a prehistoric grave containing three individuals buried side by side with their arms folded in a ritualistic fashion. Because of the manner of their burial, the archaeologists assume the remains are human, but are surprised to discover that they are actually our evolutionary cousin, Neanderthal. It takes a good deal of imagination to prepare the dead. It suggests some kind of notion of an afterlife. If there is that, there is usually a notion of a deity of some kind. That is fairly complicated religious thinking, suggesting that the Neanderthals had a capacity for symbolic reasoning and the formation of culture. This suggests a level of civilization, or at least the proto-culture that is further along than we used to think. Neanderthals, unfortunately, because of early discoveries that made them look like a brutish caveman, not intelligent, that they're very, very different from us, they were shorter and stockier, but they had huge brains. They clearly had clothing. They cared for their sick and elderly. They were very intelligent. In 2014, scientists analyzed materials from 40 different archaeological sites to determine a reliable extinction date for Neanderthals. The date they came up with is 40,000 years ago suggesting they coexisted with Homo sapiens for at least 1,000 years. But just why did they die off? At this point, we don't know exactly why these other species died off. Certainly, it does broadly coincide with the expansion of anatomically modern humans to all parts of the globe. But contrary to our notions from the past, it doesn't look like it was a lack of intelligence that led to the demise of Neanderthals. Although Neanderthals are long extinct, in 2013, evolutionary geneticists discovered select modern human populations carry genomes from both Neanderthal and Denisovans, suggesting that at some point, interbreeding occurred. Neanderthal genetic markers are concentrated in populations in Europe and parts of the Middle East. Denisovan markers can be found in the mainland Asian populations, as well as Pacific Islander, New Guineans, and Australian Aborigines. According to some ancient astronaut theorists, this interbreeding may be the key to understanding the demise of the other intelligent hominin species that once shared the planet with humans. Consider the possibility that these different hominid strains were meant to be kept geologically separated from each other across tracts of land that were considered to be too vast for them to ultimately come into contact with one another. Is it possible that interbreeding was frowned upon and that once interbreeding with Neanderthals started to take place, it was damaging the very essence of the experiment, and because of that, the Neanderthal strain had to be terminated or removed from the planet to stop this from happening? When we look at ancient texts, particularly religious texts from millennia ago, what we find is the idea of the gods or a god wanting to create a human that was pure, sort of physically and morally. What we also find are accounts where the wrath of God or the wrath of the gods hammered down on us, or essentially going off the rails, so to speak. And we could make a case that this was some example of extraterrestrial intervention to essentially try and purify again the species. And that might have involved wiping out significant portions of early humans and starting over. 